exercise 26. We're still on special census. This is with the final two, olfaction and taste. Olfaction deals with smell. Both of these are classified as chemical senses um, because your receptors are responding to chemicals that are going to be an aqueous solution. So smell is referred to as olfaction, taste is gustation. Olfaction, where are the receptors going to be located? Well, they're on the roof or the top of the nasal cavity. When you sniff, you ever wondered why you sniff when you want to uh, smell something really well? It's going to draw in more air and it's going to swirl around in the uh, upper portion of the nasal cavity, stimulating those receptors. What are the receptors? They're ciliated bipolar neurons. Uh, Whatever it is you are smelling needs to be in a gas form and then gets dissolved in order for the receptor to be able to pick it up. The neurons, the olfactory neurons, do have quite a range of sensitivity for different chemicals. This uh, diagram is just showing uh, at the bottom. When you inhale, the airflow would be that kind of turquoise color of the air flowing by. Uh, and you've got the mucus along the nasal cavity and it's going to stimulate those olfactory hairs. And then that stimulates the olfactory receptor cell which is then going to move on up and eventually lead by the olfactory tract to the portion of the brain, remember in the cerebrum, that is going to then analyze and interpret the information coming in. So the, the track is the olfactory receptors being out, activated, the olfactory bulb, then the mitral cells, then the olfactory tract to the olfactory cortex. Now it is going to go through the limbic system. And remember the limbic system is associated with emotions. So that is why you tend to have uh, some type of an emotional connotation with smells. Either it could be good or it could also be bad. So this is just a, a brief uh, diagram showing the, the process of how whatever that chemical is binds to the receptor and then that triggers um, actually an influx of sodium coming in which is going to cause depolarization and that's your, your stimulus now. Gas station, the sense of taste, your taste buds um, are the sensory organ. Most of these are going to be located on the tongue and they're actually a little bit below the surface of the tongue. So food has to be dissolved in liquid before it can stimulate those receptors. So that's one of the purposes of saliva is going to start, as you know, the digestion process. And then uh, it's also helping to moisten the whatever food you've um, taken in. And then it's helping to dissolve it so you can actually taste it. There are five different taste sensations. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. The nerves for taste are also going to pass through the limbic system. So you're also going to have an emotional context with taste as well. And it has been estimated that about 8% of taste is actually smell because both of these uh, go through the limbic system that's going to give the, the emotional context to it, once again, good or bad. But I would challenge you to think of a food item. If I were to ask you to think of a nice juicy steak and if you had to describe the taste of a steak to someone who's never had steak before, can you do it without thinking of the smell? And you probably can't. <coughs> this is also uh, explains why when you have a cold and you're congested, your sense of smell is affected because you're congested. You may often be breathing through your mouth now instead of through your nose because of the congestion. The 
receptors for smell are not in the mouth. It's in the nasal cavity, so you're not stimulating them. And so you may have noticed, yes, when you have a cold, your sense of taste also seems to be altered. Has the taste receptors been changed when you have a cold? No. It's probably because you're not breathing through your nose. Uh, once your congestion's cleared up, once you've recovered from a cold, then it's like, oh, wait a minute, now food is starting to taste good again. This is showing the location on the tongue of where the various uh, taste buds are located. As you can see, sweet tends to be on more on the tip of the tongue. Salty is right behind it on either side. Behind salty would be the sour. Notice that bitter is at the back of the tongue. And part of the reason for this, you also have a gag reflex. Bitter taste, the back of the tongue, often trigger the gag reflex. That's actually a survival mechanism because a lot of po natural poisons have a bitter taste to it. So if it's very bitter, it's that survival mechanism of, eh, maybe I shouldn't be eating this, ingesting this. The next pictures do show how the taste buds are actually uh, below the surface of, of the tongue. Like I said, you, you, they're in like these little pits and you have to um, have the, the substance dissolved in liquid in order to taste this. One easy way of doing this if you want to experiment at home is if you take just some sugar, whether it's a sugar cube or whether it's a teaspoon of sugar, in solid form and put it on your tongue and see how long it ta takes for you to be able to taste that sweetness versus taking, whether it's a soda or something that has sugar dissolved in it already, and then taste that. You should be able to taste it much quicker in the liquid form versus the solid form. 